Team Jackson, what's happening? So you remember our last video on Derek Jackson? There's an update. What's going on guys, Derek Jackson here, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Denea, and we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women, cheating, affair, stepping out, um, de definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took. I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. I do not stand by those actions. I don't wanna encourage anybody to do that. And then secondly, I know that I cannot build a platform preaching certain things, preaching against certain things, and then in my real life, live contrary to that. I'm also not a victim. I'm, nobody made me do this. Uh, she didn't make me or push me to do it. The next person didn't make me. No friend influenced me. It don't matter how I was raised and what trauma, whatever. Look, I made decisions. I made a series of decisions that I got to account for. There's no excuse or justification. I've already made that bet and have, have had to lie in it. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side personally in our own healing and our own marital oneness. Um, and now this is being made public to you guys. So we're bringing that forth to you guys to let you know where we're at with that. But did you want to say anything? Um, yes. Yeah, so I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. And it was unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that I tolerate or that we tolerate moving forward. And when I, I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about, you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left? And the answer is when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone no matter how many times he came. I stayed gone and stood firm on I am not coming back. And I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality and how he carried himself and how he presented himself and in conversations that we were able to have that we had never been able to have in just 12 years. He is still continuing to pursue God and continuing to seek guidance and, and wise counsel from um, men of God. And that is what I needed for the continuation of me being present and in this marriage and to stand by his side. So today where I'm at is at peace and I proudly stand by his side. And I, I get it. Some of y'all like this may come as a huge shock, probably a huge disappointment. I let a lot of you down. No, uh, I wouldn't say this comes at a huge shock. I'm personally upset because all right, black men don't cheat and you violated that. I personally, I wanted to have sympathy for you. I did. Well, let me say this. I have no sympathy for a man who finds it to be difficult to be faithful after being in a promiscuous lifestyle, and neither should you. Nobody told you to be promiscuous before the relationship, and nobody made you be monogamous with just her. You don't want her, let another man have her. Simple. But the truth is, you've probably been cheating months before you actually put your dick in her. And more times, I would say nine times out of ten, when the dude gets caught cheating, that wasn't his very, very first time cheating. That wasn't his only time cheating. That was his only time getting caught. Let's be real. Outweigh all the good that you've done. Motherfucker, that one slip up might cancel all the shit that you've done. You know, you see women in relationships with guys that you know ain't gonna change, and they, you know, they're in denial though. Yes, he will. He'll figure it out, et cetera, et cetera. I think just getting rid of, the, of that denial is the first major step. After that, reverse engineering all the things that you know went wrong, and then rooting back to like what, what caused it. So I had to go back to what caused the lack of sexual discipline. It wasn't just a lack of discipline. It was actually something I was looking for, a void I was trying to fill. To be clear, this is an old interview that he did a long time ago. At least you're being real about that. But I mean, it's you know, and he grew. He was an evolved man. But it turns out that he was still into play play. Hey, man, today is not your day day. You was caught in a scandal. Now you yelling for bait bay. None of you are here to help this man when he calls for make day. Hey, boy, back in his heyday, the man was a cheater. He was banging ladies over the heater. Giving them that heat. And then he want to come like, let me put a ring on it. 
But then he saw another girl, he said, let me put a ding in it. <laughs> and now he getting on videos, let me put a sing in it. But we not buying your song. It's not even now. cheating the problem. Now, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Black men don't cheat, it's a problem for me. But moving on from just that, my friend, my friend, you made a career on clowning black men. You made a career on passing yourself off as that dude who's evolved. Who's the ideal dude. You clowned men. For a long time, you guys said, nah, man, you guys just don't want me to expose the truth. And then you got exposed. So, of course, today you're going to have to eat your crow. I don't care what happens within a relationship. Y'all separate, you cheat, all that stuff. That's your business. But when you pass yourself off as a preacher, as a man of God, but it turns out that you tubbing little boys behind the altar, yeah, we're going to feel some type of way. I'm not saying that you did, but it's just an analogy. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? You, we know what I'm talking about. You know. We know what I'm talking about. Listen, listen, it's okay to give advice. But when you present this air like you can't make mistakes, huh? Now we got a problem, ain't that true? That's the, that's the, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. It's, you, it's not even, because we understand that humans are humans. Yes, sir. And things happen. Plenty. That's, that's why it's none of my business. None. I don't care. That's why I don't engage in the, in, 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 in those pe people that are, you know, those gossip things and saying, oh, you know what happened with Cardi and this and that? I don't care. It's none of my business. Mm -hmm. Things happen. Whatever. You said it yourself that you don't have any sympathy. Maybe you grew. Maybe you're going to come back on that. But the money's already made. Mm -hmm. the, the money's done made. Mm -hmm. And it's okay that... I don't know if you're going to have to come back on your... Oh, I can't wait to talk to you, Derek. I can't. Because the money's made. You turn, You got You got a whole following preaching like, you know what, this and that and those men. And you are those men. This is what I'm saying. The interview looks a little bit weird. Her holding your hand, the whole setup. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, hey, you guys look at that. It looks odd. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to just defer to it. I, I just think for me, the biggest thing is I don't think you recognize some of the damage that you've done in regards to the relation between black men and black men. But as a changed man, you knew how it was. You should have a little bit of empathy. You knew how it was. Mm -hmm. You knew you, you were engaging in that. So, of course, if you go like, yeah, no, I'm a changed man, so I'm good now. No, you have to come back and you, it, with, with this empathy that you know where it came, what it is. It's like an alcoholic would be going to, like, in an AA meeting, I have no sympathy for alcoholics. I'm a change man. No, you could relapse. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's not the, the problem. Relapsing is not the problem. Mm -hmm. But you coming out from there uh -huh. and being like, I don't have any sympathy for that if you did that. You did that. You're that. That's right. Hey, man. You know, I, I'm, I'm more annoyed because I have to hear women like this just talk about you all the time. Make it make, it make sense. It's from a man who's on the internet. So, who mirrors what I actually want a man to do. Somebody like Derek Jackson. Like, Derek Jackson is always somebody, mm, he was always somebody that I liked simply because I knew he was a married black man to a black woman. Like, he is a black man who looks the fuck good. He's married to a black woman who looks the fuck good. He is faithful to that black woman. I, I just know that based on, because I, I've had conversations with him outside of that, outside of this, outside of the internet. So, like, that's somebody I want to listen to. And we had to hear that shit for, oh, but like Derek, man, I want to... This is what I'm saying, guys. People in Glove's houses, man. Y'all be very careful. I don't accept the monies. I've done some fuck shit. I know, right? I did when I was single. But you know what I mean? I've done some shit. I don't sell out other dudes, all that stuff. And I don't blame it on ladies. But what you did for a long time was you pandered. Let's be honest. That's how everyone interprets it. And even women hearing what you've done, they feel the same way. Now? Yeah. 100%. They feel the same way. 100%. So it's not just about you taking accountability for your actions. We don't care. That's your marriage. That's what we got an issue with is the image that you put out, this kind of ridiculous idea that you put in everybody's head, right? And then you don't think you've created some damage. Hypothetical. And this is like none of my business. But do you think he has no other choice but to do what he's doing right now? What do you mean? 
Well, he's built his whole brand on the idea of a faithful husband who loves a black woman and doesn't so diligently. Do you think he could have afforded, when, before everything broke, because he probably knew this was coming, do you think he could have afforded to leave his wife and to go live his best life and maintain his brand? Yes. How? Who would listen to a man who cheated on his wife, left her to go be a single bachelor? Business-wise. Because that was his brand. His whole brand is, I'm the, the guy who, you know what I mean? We're going to talk about healing. I'll be honest with you. Maybe he really wants to do this. But there's also another side where it's like, bruv, if you want to make money ever again in this field, you have no choice but to do this. Yes. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. And that, that's the, probably the reason why you think the setup is... Is weird and shit like that, and I get you. I get you. I understand you. Well, it's like it's like it's like. Are, are you are you sorry because of what you did, or are you sorry because you were definitely gonna get caught? And this is what I meant when I said he's a bit disingenuous because he's out here giving this advice. Meanwhile, out in the streets, he's living a completely different life for reasons that are very difficult or whatever. But then he looked at men like you could do better, and you know you can. But bro, you couldn't do better. You don't have a reason. You, you couldn't do better. Like, wow. You asking other folks to do things that you or yourself didn't do. So that's my issue. Imagine you're listening to an accountant and he says, don't do this, don't do that. And you turn around, you know, your accountant, when your accountant does fraud, you're like, wow, yeah. bro, yeah. I can't listen to you no more. Yeah. Cause, cause you told me to do this, do that, save these, and you're out here frauding and sending money out overseas and shit and you're caught. So I can't, you can know, you can, <laughs> lawyers that engage in, 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 in criminal stuff, they're not lawyers anymore. I, I can't. Want to know why? Because I, there's I, no I, trust I, in them. They take I an can. oath. Let's go. That's that's just what it is. If you want to have a chit chat, you can come on a live with us and we'll have a long form discussion. Uh, because there's a lot of people who want to have longer form answers. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, but, pff, bruh, you're done goofed. That's all I got. But it's going to be like, you come on. We're going to do it respectfully. But, but you know, bruv, you know. You, you know. Morena, mira como toma, como morena, tan rico que se mira lo bonito.